Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, hit that notification bell. Now, I've been a Megan fan long before there ever was a Harry and Megan. Initially, I found out about Megan through her character on the popular TV show Suits, and I soon followed her on Instagram and quickly realized that I loved her personality even more than her character, Rachel Zane. I loved her infectious spirit, her positivity, I loved how excited and passionate she was about anything and everything that had to do with women's empowerment, and of course, I think she's beautiful and has fantastic style. So this particular video, I'm going to share some of my favorite looks that Megan wore as a senior working royal. The first look we're going to talk about is this beautiful bird tulle dress from Asuka de la Renta. I feel like it's a dress that you really don't see any of the women within the royal family wear. It's very whimsical and feminine and cute and, and very unlike the things that Meghan generally wore during her time as a senior working royal. That Oscar de la Renta was so beautiful and flowy and light and effortless, much like her personality. The next look we're going to talk about is that nautical Ralph Lauren look from Wimbledon. That crisp blue and white button and the wide rim white pants with the beautiful Panama hat and of course her signature sunnies was just absolutely effortless and chic and honestly one of my favorite looks from any celebrity when it comes to Wimbledon fashion faves. It's definitely up there in my top 10 looks of all time. Now the next look is that beautiful um, fit and flare denim dress with the faux wrap v-neck um, look towards the front and the belt. It was so effortless and beautiful and again very unlike a look that you've seen anyone within the family wear. Um, but it was just really beautiful and chic and you generally don't see denim dresses being so impeccably tailored and feminine but it just worked. Generally, I don't think we've ever seen a denim look at a polo look worn by a royal that looked so fabulous. And you know the girls of the royal family do enjoy copying some of Meghan's looks. Looks that Meghan got into a lot of trouble for um, and was deemed a royal rule breaker, constantly breaking royal protocol. But now we're seeing Kate and Camilla and even Sophie copying specific looks that Megan was bashed for, but we're not going to go into that detail in this video. The next look that we're talking about is that fantastic crisp white blazer that she wore to the Invictus Games. I love that it has that sort of flared effect towards the back and it looks like slightly shorter in the front and a little bit longer in the back. I love blazers and especially like really um, tailored blazers that sort of emphasizes the female form instead of like the boxier types and this blazer is no exception. It's one of my absolute favorite um, casual chic wears by Megan. I think she did a fantastic job. Now, the next look we're going to talk about is that Givenchy dress that she wore on one of her first engagements with the Queen. I feel like that look has that simple, clean, lined look um, with the monochromatic thing going on with a cute, slim belt. Um, very much like the monochromatic looks that she wore during the final um, engagements that she did with Harry. This just looked quite wonderful, had a little bit of a cape effect around the neck and shoulders, um, a very simple classic heel and a beautiful simple classic black bag. She looked absolutely effortless and stunning, loved it so much. 
Now, the next look we're gonna talk about is a Club Monaco look. I believe her and Harry were attending a friend's wedding and she wore this really beautiful, flowy, sort of see-through color block, um, like pleated, accordion pleated skirt with a simple um, button black shirt. She wore her um, black fascinator, which she has worn on several occasions. And I'm gonna sort of get into um, the awesomeness of that hat and what it inspired. But that Club Monaco look just looked really relaxed and feminine. And I don't know, I feel like Harry was doing his thing right next to Megan, you know? He looked a little, a little got a little swag on him. Um, in the pictures of her wearing the Club Monaco, they looked really beautiful, but they're a very photogenic couple. The next look is this beautiful plaid Burberry coat. Um, one of the best things that I love about Meghan's wardrobe in her time as a working royal and before that is that she seems to invest in really classic pieces that are kind of costly but they're beautiful coats that are properly tailored and they're gonna last you years and years down the line and this plaid coat is no exception it's gorgeous with shades of green blue black she had the beautiful little green um, purse to go with it and that purse also um, played an instrumental role in a huge boost of business for the company that makes that purse, which we saw during her time as a working royal. And even now, a lot of the things that Meghan wears tend to sell out, tend to be um, a very instrumental part of driving traffic to these stores um, to the point where things sell out quite quickly. That's why we call it the Megan effect. Jewelry, purses, shoes, um, they all seem to sell out. So we know that she is one of the best style icons. I just, I love her style and I'm not the only one, clearly. But this beautiful plaid coat was worn with a black turtleneck, black trousers, and of course that beautiful green bag. Now the next look that I love is this gorgeous Alexander McQueen um, sort of uh, tuxedo look. It's a classic blazer, classic like ankle trousers, beautiful simple black heels, and the side part hair realness. I think she looked so modern and fabulous. And of course now we've seen that Kate has been wearing a lot of Megan-ish um, blazers and pants and, and pant suits, which was something that she never really wore before um, quite often. But now, I mean, <laughs> there's a lot of examples of her wearing very Megan inspired looks, just like this one. Um, such a fabulous look, so effortless. And the hair that Megan was rocking at that time is particularly one of my favorite looks. I feel like whatever was going on with her hair at that time maybe got like a fresh dye fresh color job i don't know who was working the magic on her hair at that time but i feel like i absolutely loved it looked particularly glowy and healthy and fabulous the next look we're going to talk about is this purple aritzia dress which was a rewear for megan i believe she wore it um as a maternity dress with a red coat um, but this particular one I loved the look here where it's just the purple dress and the free-flowing hair again I think around that time her hair hair is the same as um, with the Alexander McQueen look it just looked so fabulous and flowy and wavy um, and I love this look just so simple but so beautiful now, the next look we're talking about is this black halo dress. Now, every girl needs a basic black dress, and this dress is no exception. I loved the clean lines and the bit of an asymmetrical um, cut. With the slim little belt, we know that she loves to incorporate those slim belts with a lot of the dresses that she wore, and this was no exception. The hair was working, a nice little 
extra with the tie for the heels and a cute little um, unassuming black bag. Such a spectacular look. Now the next look we're gonna talk about is this bespoke Amelia Wixted dress. I love it. Um, Megan's not one for wearing a lot of buttons, but this was one of the few looks that had a lot of buttons in there and they worked because she let the buttons do the work and everything else was sort of understated. It's a basic black dress that has a beautiful little flare, a basic black shoes, shoes that we know are one of her favorites, and here comes that fascinator again. Remember we spoke about the fascinator um, for the Club Monaco look um, when her and Harry attended a friend's wedding, and this is a rewear of that fascinator. Now, interestingly enough, that black fascinator inspired the black swan hat. Now, this hat um, that Megan wore um, was refashioned using different paper textures um, and is on display at the Princess Diana exhibition in Los Angeles and Chicago. Like, how awesome is that? Again, the Megan effect. Now, when it comes to celebrity, um, maternity looks, I feel like Megan is one of the few people whose maternity looks I actually love. I don't have kids and I'm not in the market of becoming a mother anytime soon. But if I had to pick a celebrity style that I would want to emulate, for maternity wear, it would most definitely be Megan. I love looks were super classic. This dress that we're talking about is a beautiful sort of cape dress. Again, super flowy, very feminine. And one of the things that I've noticed about Megan's style as a senior work in Royal is that she let the dresses or um, one particular item of clothing tell the story and it sort of blends effortlessly with everything. She's not big on a lot of patterns and colors um, that compete against each other. She loves the monochromatic looks with heels that are basic black or blue, monochromatic heels, um, a cute little purse that sort of just blends effortlessly with everything and tops off with the hair and very fresh and glowy makeup. It's not caked on, it's not super thick, it's just effortless. And this dress is no exception. I absolutely love it. And we're talking about a monochromatic look um, that Megan wore oh so well. This beautiful sort of cape dress again in a beautiful shade of blue. Her hair is swept up with a few tendrils um, off to the side, a beautiful bag, um, I believe from a company that she had already um, worn a couple of their pieces, and a beautiful um, blue heel to top it off. Again, Harry on the side looking really handsome, matching her swag. We love that for him. <laughs> and he's not wearing a suede shoes in this one, so good job, Harry, good job. Now this next look is another maternity look of Megan's, and maybe you don't know, but if you didn't, that dress that she's wearing right here is from H&M. Yeah, a super inexpensive, um, it's not a cowl neck, probably a faux turtleneck or a mock neck, um, sort of stretchy dress with a basic jacket, nude heels, and she let the hair go free flowing. This is a fabulous look, not expensive. Anyone can recreate this look. Now the next look we're gonna talk about is this pale blush pink dress that Megan wore to the garden party uh, by the British label Goat. I believe it's called the Flavia dress, F-L-A-V-I-A. -A. Um, don't quote me on it, but I think that's the name. And I remember when Megan wore this, the website for the Goat crashed. <laughs> due to all the traffic. So yeah, again, the Megan effect is real. This fabulous dress had the sheer upper um, and a just nice, soft flow and look. The hat tilted to the side, the hair in a low bun. She looked so effortless and beautiful. One of my favorite looks. Love it so much. 
Now for the next look, we're taking it all the way back to her wedding day. Now, I don't know about you guys, I loved her wedding dress, but my favorite dress, favorite, favorite dress is that wedding reception dress. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. Um, I'm not one for lace and frill and such, so if I were to get married anytime soon, the reception dress is likely what I would go for. I think it's just so beautiful and simple, and we know that uh, that reception dress inspired a lot of brides to be for years to come. Not just the reception dress, which we love, but her main dress as well. I believe it was named one of the most popular um, wedding dresses. Now, the next look we're going to talk about is another maternity look that Megan wore. I remember she got a little bit of flack for wearing a one-shoulder dress, but you know, that's just the British press being um, a-holes as usual because the Queen and Diana and other women within the institution have worn one-shoulder, off-shoulder dresses for years. But you know how they like to complain when it comes to Megan. But this look we're talking about is that beautiful one-shoulder um, look that she wore to the awards um, where she was cradling her bump oh so beautifully. Um, she wore this to the British Fashion Awards, just a basic black one-shoulder dress hair back um, in a nice little low bun um, looking fabulous as always with a little bit of a slit so it's giving you a little bit of sexy but again very demure um, very Megan and it's one of my favorite favorite looks now I'm not gonna go into too much detail but the final dresses that she wore for the um, last engagements that she did with Harry. Of course, they are iconic and have been talked about to death. So I don't really want to go into detail, but you guys know that beautiful cape dress, the long cape red dress, that beautiful blue dress with the iconic photo of her and Harry with the umbrella and the rain. And you can just tell how much they love each other. Iconic-ish. But Everyone's talked about that, <laughs> so we're not going to go into too much detail. Um, but yeah, those are some of my favorite looks for Megan. There's so many looks um, that I really enjoyed, that beautiful sort of sequin dress. But knowing what we know about what Megan was going through at the time, I just can't bring myself to love the looks as much as I did then because I can see the air of sadness. Um, on her face and it just it makes me a little sad now even though Harry and Meghan have stepped back as senior work and royals the Meghan effect is still real let's not forget that beautiful Valentino mini dress that Meghan wore to the global citizen concert in New York instantly sold out the beautiful little cutout top that she wore to the Ellen DeGeneres show also instantly sold out um let's not forget that little teacup and saucer that she used in um the little video that she did with melissa mccartney also sold out pretty quickly so the megan mania is still in effect let's not forget that the little hat that we saw in four or five grainy photos at the Platinum Jubilee instantly sold out within an hour. Also, um, if you guys didn't know, Megan, Harry, and Archie were spotted on 4th of July enjoying a small town parade. And what do you know, Megan's shoes or her sandals instantly sold out as well. There's so much buzz of people trying to figure out the things that she was wearing, the hat and whatnot. So the Megan mania when it comes to fashion and her looks is still in effect. And that just goes to show just how globally that she is appreciated and loved. And if you hear the to hear the British media tell it, Megan is universally hated, but we know that that's 
not the case because whenever she is sighted, she instantly trends on a global scale. Things sell out on a global scale. And even within the UK, I feel like a lot of the items sell out within the UK and the US quite quickly. So just be mindful of that when you think of um, the messaging that I feel like the British media loves to say when it comes to all things Harry and Meghan, the facts and statistics say otherwise whenever they're seen their name trends everybody checks into it things are sold out um even harry's um the me you can't see that had major ratings for apple in the uk so the megan and harry effect is real and i don't know if you guys know if you're a megan and harry fan you should know that they'll be in new york next week and i'm so looking forward to hearing Harry's speech, Megan gave an incredible one in 2015, so I'm looking forward to hear um, Harry's version this coming week. And of course, I'm also looking forward to seeing the looks that Megan will be serving. Bye guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, hit that notification bell.